to Hedgehog Hollow. I hope you're having a great day. I'm excited to be here to show you the new Lawn Fawn release that's come out today. And I have a giveaway for you towards the end of this video. So you want to keep watching for that. Uh, we are in a complete state of chaos. Uh, we are redoing the studio. So I've just kind of carved out a little bit of space to be able to hop on here and have a chat with you, show you this. I did do a little bit of crafting on the kitchen table as well. And of course we have that giveaway for you as well. Uh, so let's take a, a look at everything that we've got here. So some new papers here from Lawn Fawn. This is the Pixie Dust. So this is a white glitter paper and it die cuts really, really nicely. And I'll show you one of these projects in a minute that I die cut some of their new glitter papers. We also have glitter paper in festive colors. So the holiday collection, which has a red, a green, a darker green, a gold and a silver. Let me open it up so you can take a look. And this is the red I actually use on my cards. So you have the red, there's the silver there. You've got the gold, one green, and then a lighter green, and of course your holiday red. And then we have a Halloween or autumn selection. So this has the gunmetal, the coppers, the golds, the bronze. Again, we open it up so you can take a look, and it's a lovely weight for die cutting. So we have kind of that black gunmetal color, a beautiful purple, we have orange, we have like a champagne gold, I would call this, and this darker sort of brown, rusty, bronzy color. So lovely colors in there. We also have the wood grain in neutrals. And again, let me open one up for you. So these are embossed cardstocks. They're 111 pounds. So again, they're a nice heavy weight, but you can die cut them. This is the white and you get two sheets of white in here. You have a crafty color and they've got that wonderful wood grain texture. I'm hoping if I lift this up, it may show you a little bit of that texture. And then it's also in the gray and it's also in the dark brown. So some really pretty colors in there. We have a Lawn Fawn vellum. So again, I'll open these up so you can see all of these pretty colors in here. I'm gonna open this and grab a sheet. So it's a nice kind of frosty effect. Great for those holiday projects in there. Uh, so another wonderful one in there. We have the craft cardstock. So this is the regular cardstock that you know I love. And it's just sort of in that lighter brown color. We also have a new 80 pound white cardstock from Lawn Fawn as well. So lots of new, ooh, it doesn't like white. Uh, lots of new colors in there for you as well. Um, excuse my uh, phone going off there. So my alarm for the Tonic Live this evening. So you can tell how recently this was filmed. Uh, but I do have a couple of cards to show you. So this is one that Hannah made here. We were crafting together this afternoon, which was really good fun. Uh, so I've carved out time to say your pick of the patch. You've got the railing, which is one of the new dies. We have the squirrel, which is new. And we have these gorgeous pumpkins that she colored in with Copics here as well. And then this is a Distress uh, Oxide background on there. And then I quickly made up these three cards. I made three cards in less than an hour. Um, all with new dies. There's no stamping whatsoever in these cards, but I love how they came out. So I did this new Merry Christmas. This is the wood grain craft cardstock. Uh, I used the red glitter paper with one of the new dies, the new Merry Christmas die, which we'll get to. The twine is the candy cane. It's one of the older twines because I have the collection in my drawer. And then this is an alcoholic background. They added red and gold foil on. So you can see there how gorgeous that is is, and I wanted to show you on that craft cardstock. Um, I'm just gonna grab it out here. So this is the apple that I cut out the middle of this thanks teacher. So that gives you an idea of some of that texture that's in there, but you can really highlight it with some ink. And one of the new, um, there's two new colors of ink, there's pizza crust. And so what you can do is you can just really easily apply it to your cardstock. I'm just gonna pick it up here. So you can see there how it just kind of picks up that wood grain. Uh, so that's the pizza crust color. And if we can also look at the new artichoke. So I'm going to put the green on this side. Really easy technique, but it looks 
really awesome of course actually I really actually managed to fade those two kind of together so you can see there how it picks up that lovely wood grain on there so I'd grabbed that one out for you so they're the two um, new ink colors as well uh, this is the Happy Fall, so I used orange alcohol inks, there's um, copper foil in here, like a rose gold copper foil, orange twine, and the new Happy Fall die. And this is, this scallop circle is a new die, and this is the new wood grain um, paper in the grey, and this is their new white cardstock. So I was just trying out all the bits and pieces. This one, again, these are new dyes we'll get to in a minute. Um, I did red alcohol inks. I just added a splash of green because I knew it was going to be the apple. Gold foil on this one. And um, this is the embossed wood grain um, cardstock in the craft there. And I added some green twine on there just for that kind of finishing touch. So let's dive in to the rest of the items. There's also a couple more inks. There's a clear uh, embossing and watermark ink. So you can use that on craft papers, darker cardstocks. You can um, emboss with it as well. There's also an embossing pen. So that's the tip on the pen. So there's a nice tip on there for you to work with. So two new embossing products. They also have a new embossing powder, which is called Textured White. And unfortunately I did stamp it on white cardstock, but I did have to stamp it out earlier on. I'm gonna keep my finger near it, and I'm gonna hope that this picks up because it's got a really cool texture to it. It looks like snow. Um, you of course could put colors over the top once you'd heat set it and you'd have uh, some really cool hillsides and textures. And I love, it kind of feels like a leathery, plush, I don't know, it's a really nice tactile kind of thing, but that was just a solid stamp that I was practicing earlier and I kept the piece ready for the video. They're also doing a metal adapter plate that works. Um, so here, so Cuttlebug and Big Shot, not recommended for the Grand Caliber, but it's great for those intricate dies on there. You can see my camera. But, uh, so that's one of their new plates. They also have two new paper packs, our Knit Picky in full. Uh, so it's a six by six, or it comes in 12 by 12. Single-sided designer papers. I'll hold this one up so you can see the patterns. We've got leaves that kind of look cross-stitched. We've got those Pringle patterns. We have something else that looks stitched. We've got sort of hearts or knitting, depending on how you look at it, and um, some other patterns in there as well. And as I say, you can get like individual sheets, 12 by 12 or six by six paper pack. And there's a Christmas really rainbow. So we have, again, I'll hold this up for you. So you've got your um, holiday, snow, uh, love and peace, merry, all of those. A couple of different tree ones, snowflakes, ornaments, dots, stripes, more dots snowflakes, looks like snow falling, more trees, and a different kind of check. Again, this is available individually, or it's available in the six by six or 12 by 12 paper packs. And they also are launching a bone folder in this release. I didn't order it because I already have a Teflon bone folder. I did get to see it creative at um, Salt Lake City even. Uh, I am a huge advocate of the Teflon bone folder. I will link everything in this video in the description below and I will link it in the order that I've shown it to you. So if you're looking for something in particular, it will be in the same order as the video. Um, but that also brings us really nicely uh, before we get onto the stamps and dies for our giveaway. So our giveaway is over on Instagram. So just search at the Hedgehog Hollow on Instagram and you can win um, the clear watermark ink, the new artichoke ink, the pizza crust ink, the embossing ink pen, the new textured white embossing powder, and the nitpicky full and really rainbow Christmas six by six paper pack. So this is our lawn form prize pack. And what you want to hop on over uh, to Instagram, it will ask you for a word or a phrase that we put in the video. And so you want to put apple. So your uh, secret word is apple. Uh, it's also, of course, along the bottom of your screen down here. Um, but that's what you want to go and type on Instagram. You also tag a friend and follow Hedgehog Hollow and you can win that, be entered to win that prize pack. And now I can show you all of the amazing stunts and dies. I've categorized them as best as I can. So there's a new reveal wheel in the square. So you also have the reveal wheel that I used previously for an ocean um, piece, but this is a square add-on. So you still need that one because you need the wheel that goes in here, but then you also have a drop-in of a heart and the heart frame and an oval and an oval frame drop-ins, uh, plus that square, of course. And if you haven't seen the reveal wheel, I'll pop that picture 
on your screen right now, this is the one I made that was um, the rectangular one, but I used it in the opposite uh, direction to kind of what was intended. And that video is linked in that top right hand corner there. We also have the full leaf add-ons. So the add-ons again have this little jigsaw piece, then either of the viewers pop in here and you get perfect placement. And then they also come with a little um, border that goes on the front of your card. There's a shooting star, there's a pumpkin, there's a snowflake, and there's a second pumpkin. I have two of those. Um, so then there's also the Reveal Wheel Holiday Sentiments. So lots of options on there. I'll bring those up closer so you can see them. And they're curved, fit in the Reveal Wheel, or you can have them straight. So lots of options. You've also got um, other holidays in here as well. And then this is the other one. So this is Say What Christmas Critters. So again, you can either use these standalone or you can use this in the reveal wheel, the perfect size for those two. And you've got some holiday ones, you've got speech bubbles, you've got your two and your from and some more sort of fun sentiments in there as well. Couple new more, couple more new add-ons. I'll get my words out this evening. This is a gift box add-on that is a little dear. So this shows you on the back the tiny gift box, and then you can decorate it up to be these little deers, perfect for Christmas favors, or maybe for class treats, depending on how many you have to make. We have a tiny gift box add-on in a bat. So same thing again, but you can create your bat with your wings open or closed there. And I love this one, holding the candy corn. Then we have a teacher one. So this is so awesome. And I just absolutely adore how cute this is. Isn't it gorgeous? And then you also, we have the caramel apple. So you can add faces if you want to, or you can just have them stand alone. And what looks really cute is I saw someone add the little bow tie on here as well. And it just looks adorable. A couple more full sets. Uh, this is the pick of the patch. So again, you can use this in conjunction with that pumpkin reveal wheel add-on. And so you've got some different pumpkins, you've also got faces that you can turn around and spectacles. And I did also get the um, dies for this one. I don't usually buy coordinating dies because I have a scanning cut, but I really want to be able to die cut out these glasses because I just thought they were gonna be really, really cute. Then there's a say what gift tag. So you have a gift tag frame and a stitch gift tag. Love both of those and also great for any season. And then you kind of have these hearts and stars that you can use as confetti and shaker cards or just use them as little embellishments. These are all of the holiday sets. So we have the Woodland Critter Huggers Winter add-on. So if you remember last year we had those huggers and now you can add scarves and mittens and all sorts of fun accessories to them. There's the Gingerbread Friends. So again, you can decorate up your gingerbread and that new craft card stock and the pixie dust are gonna be perfect for that. We have Oh What Fun, our polar bear sledging. We have Simply Winter Sentiments. I'll turn that that way so you can see those sentiments on there as well. We also have Winter Scripty Sentiments. So lots and lots of sentiment options. I'm a sentiment sucker. I have to have tons of sentiments. We have holiday helpers here with our elves and our tissue wrap and all of these little fun add-ons. We have thanks a latte, which I just think is super, super cute. I may have to get the dies for these so that I can add things like this in some glitter paper, in that brown glitter paper inside of our mug would look really, really pretty. We also have winter skies, so they can be looking up at the shooting star, they can be looking up at Santa's sleigh. Uh, so another one that also works really nicely with that reveal wheel. And then finally, in this section, we have the Simply Celebrate Winter. So we've got more of our towns, we've got lots of nice borders and a nice season's greetings there as well. Then my next section are two new interactive options. So you have double slider surprise. So this one, I don't know if there's a picture on the back, when you pull this, Kelly's done an amazing video of three different ways to use this. Um, you can either have it that it opens both ways, that you can include gift cards in it, lots and lots of options. We'll be doing some um, with it as well, but do check out Lawn Fawn's video on that um, slider. And I will try to, again, link that in that top right-hand corner for you. And then you have the mini pop-up box. So you can see here that when you open your card, your elves or whoever you want to be in there can be inside um, 
having fun. There's another uh, scenery add-on here to the spooky fence border, which was the border we used on this card here. So really fun little add-on option there. And it should mention it doesn't have a bottom to it. So you can make that bottom piece like this or as thick or as thin as you would want it to be. There are two new cover plate for the landscape and portrait in these snowfall backdrops. So I'll lift one of these up so you can see it cuts out the snow there. We have some more sentiments for you. So we have the line sentiments in Happy Fall, which is the one I used here. We have the Merry Christmas that I used on this card. And then we have the Thanks Teacher, which I used on the Apple card. So you can see those cut out. And then we have the Apple die. So this is the outside in stitched. So that's what I used here to give me that lovely stitched edge. And the apple that came out, which is actually behind me, which I can't reach, also has a stitched inline. So if you wanted to just take that piece out, that also has that stitching on it. And then there are some stitched apple frames that coordinate with this really nicely. So you get a piece that's this, um, which must be about a quarter of an inch roughly, and it has that stitching in it. So that creates your frame. Of course, you've got your seeds, your leaves, your stems. And again, on this one, you have those same options. Then we have some reverse stitch scallop squares and the same in circles. So that's as I used here. So you have circles or squares and that again gives you that piece that's a really nice frame to use on your card. Um, and the piece that it cuts out, particularly on this one, is all like um, pointy and the same on here. And they make great spiders webs and Halloween things, all sorts of fun things in there for you. And then there's also a rectangle version of the same. And then finally we have our trees. So this was the frame that I mentioned earlier. So you can get this in the apples as well. So it gives you this frame that has a stitched line inside. It's harder to see the stitching on the red, um, but that's on there. There's the Merry Christmas. And then you have the same option as with the apples that you have that double cut, uh, one cut, but double stitched even. So you have both those options on trees, different sizes, stars, baubles, all those sorts of fun things on there. As well so that is our wrap up of the lawn fawn fall and christmas release i hope you've enjoyed this video we'll have lots more projects of course for you coming over the season and don't forget to hop on to at the hedgehog hollow on instagram so that you can enter uh, to win our prize pack and we hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Maybe you've seen something that you love as well. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stamp the bell so you get notifications of future videos. And we've got some really fun things coming up for you. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again very soon. Happy stamping. Bye.